Tony Shaw. Yes, sir. We're in Louisville today. Mm -hmm. Tell us exactly where we are and the directions to get here for those who might not know. Uh, we're at River House Restaurant and Raw Bar. Uh, we're just off I-71 South. Uh, you take exit 7, the Zorn Avenue exit. Uh, you take a right off the exit, make a right on River Road. On the left-hand side, we're right there. Right here. Yeah. Okay, now, we hooked up through social media. Mm -hmm. We meet all kinds of people through there. You said, hey, I work at this restaurant. I'm like, Raw Bar? Yeah. You got my attention right yeah. there. So we came on out, spontaneously had dinner last night. And let me tell you what, knocked our socks off. All right, we had to start out with a raw bar. Mm -hmm. I got the ahi, she got the scallops, and wow. Yeah. That's all I got to say about that. All right, tell us about the interior and the exterior. If you want to eat outside during the summertime, yeah. what have you got here? Well, the interior, this used to be Fall City Boat Works. It was a boat dealership uh, way back in the day. And uh, John, uh, over the years, you know, he's always wanted to do something on the river. Right. Um, he had the opportunity to do so, so this year we were able to do it. So this was actually the showroom where all the new boats uh, used to be. So. Um, you know, it's got the great space, got the great view. We've got a 4,000 square foot patio. Uh, we put in eight boat docks uh, last July. Uh, we're increasing the patio space this summer, um, and just, we're just going to make it as fun as possible for all of our boat in, boaters. All right, now today, uh, last night, I had what was, I think you called it the 10 cup old fashioned. That's correct, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. What are you going to make us today? Uh, today we're going to do the Cardinal Sin. Um, okay. It's kind of a riff on a Boulevard A and a Negroni. Um, base for it is going to be Maker's Mark 46, uh, which is, I think, uh, just a, a top quality uh, bourbon. You can't really go wrong with that. Uh, we have Bombay Gin. Uh, then we have Chinar, which is an Italian, Italian herbal liqueur. And then we have Noli Pratt Sweet Vermouth. Gotcha. Let's do this. Okay. We can do that. It's going to be served up um, like uh, any type of martini or Manhattan. So not on the rocks, up in a martini glass. And uh, we're going to stir it. Uh, we love the texture when it comes to stirring. You don't want to shake it uh, whatsoever. So gotcha. uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take an ounce of the uh, Maker's Mark 46. All right. Good way to start uh, things. Yeah. Very good. And then we're going to do a half ounce of the Bombay Gin. Gotcha. This, this is a Nikki drink. I bet you she'd really like this. So it's definitely, um, you focus on the classics. Like I said, the um, Negroni and the Boulevard A. Uh, we just want to put like a little bit of a twist on it, so that's kind of gotcha. what we did. So um, you just want to stir this for maybe about 30 seconds or 30, 30 stirs. You don't want to over dilute it, but you just want to get it nice and cold and make sure everything mixes together properly. And then you just want to uh, gently just strain into a martini glass. And we're going to do a little dash of uh, orange bitters to finish. Gotcha. Yeah, you really can't go wrong. I mean, we definitely want to make sure you get the full experience from, you know, the raw bar to our appetizers to our entrees to definitely dessert. You know, John, uh, our owner, uh, he does a fantastic job. So, all right. And then you're just going to finish with lemon twists right in there. That's an evening drink. Mm -hmm. That's a with dinner drink. What, what, what situation would you find that? Oh, goodness. Uh, it could be an after work drink, after, you know, a any type of day drink, uh, before dinner, after dinner. Uh, I think it fits almost any occasion. So. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, we've had our before dinner drink. I guess now it's time to go to the kitchen. Sounds good. Do you have any idea what's on the menu today? Uh, I think I do, and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Mm. What is it? It's going to be our grouper cheeks and shrimp. Yeah. Barrage almost had me talked into that last night, but I saw the ahi. I had to go there. Can't yeah. wait to try this. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Tim. Uh -huh. John. Uh, how are you doing? We're in the kitchen. We had Best you? place to be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But what are you going to make for us today? Well, I got something really different here. We're doing our seared grouper cheeks and shrimp over our crab risotto with a smoked shrimp vinaigrette uh, on top. It's really delicious. And grouper cheeks, is, cheeks meat in general is just underutilized. You know, people usually just discard it and they're wonderful. They have a different texture to it. They're a little sweeter and it's just something different that people don't see every day. So I almost got that's that what I night. enjoy doing. I want to create new experiences and create uh, memories too. All right, walk us through this. How, how's this thing going to work? Now I've taken uh, some of the rice here. We have it par cooked. And you can do that ahead of time in the house to uh, make dinner process happen a little quicker. You know, that's always a, a great thing to happen at home. You don't want to spend all day slaving over the stove and cooking. And we just want to add the last bit of liquid so the rice becomes tender and al dente. The part of risotto, too, is that we're 
stirring it, releasing the starches, making it nice and creamy. We're going to add some heavy cream and also a little bit of cream cheese. So while that's going to be reducing uh, lightly, here we have our group of cheeks. Talk about what a cheek is. A lot of, a lot of people aren't familiar with that. So it's actually the cheek meat, the face cheek at least. And uh, as you can see, the um, nice meat has a little different striation here. Uh, a lot of people says it has the texture of crab. So it's a little sweeter, uh, I think very flavorful. And again, just a very underutilized uh, piece of the fish. You know when you catch a big walleye here in Kentucky, a lot of people forget about that meat. Yeah, you know, no, I always, any, anytime I have uh, fresh fish or we're breaking down fresh fish, I always take the collars or the throats out of them. We call it the pork chop of the fish, the bone in. Uh, it has a lot of great flavor and extra flavor, just like a, a bone in pork chop. It's going to add extra flavor to it. And again, it has that little different texture. And, you know, that's kind of part of, you know, being a chef and utilizing everything and in the kitchen and all your product. All right, our risotto is getting nice and creamed out here. Show for the camera, it's like nice and fluffy. At this point, we could uh, add our lump crab, some scallions for a little color, a little bite, a little flavor, a little texture. So the grouper cheeks, we just add a little flour to it. We're trying to add some texture to it. So you're gonna have the nice creaminess of the cheek inside. You're gonna have the crispy on the outside. Important part of sauteing too is to make sure that your pan's hot, the oil's hot before you put anything into it because that's why you get sticking problems. Uh, people don't realize that at home. Uh, let's see, it's a little bit of flame catching in there. So I want to pull it away from the heat so the water's not gonna catch the fire there. Uh, we put some of our golf, uh, jumbo golf shrimp in. Again, we just want to get a nice little sear on there. We're almost done, we're gonna flip our shrimp. And we're gonna cook this for another minute or so. I'm gonna turn it on low and let it finish. And we're gonna come over here and make our very flavorful uh, shrimp vinaigrette. We started off our emulsifier. The egg yolk really helps the uh, oil to bind. So we have our protein and our fats. So scientifically, when you mix it together, you create air and the protein grabs onto the fat molecule, which makes an emulsified uh, dressing that we're making here. So we start with the egg yolk. Adding some apple vinegar. We need a little bit of acid in there that adds that tang. And of course, another little bit of acid. We're putting some lemon juice in. And then we have our base. I've already went ahead and roasted some tomatoes and onions. And we really want a nice little char in there that's gonna add some flavor. Uh, this is also gonna help with the emulsification base. A little fresh basil. And then again, for our flavor, we've got some heat and smokiness with our uh, chipotle and adobo sauce. All right, this is gonna get a little noisy, but uh, we wanna puree this smooth. We got our Vita prep here. We're gonna start off on a low setting here just to get everything pureed together. And then we're gonna turn it high. You want it high to get an opportunity to create that air so you're achieving the emulsification. So the trick of doing this is not pouring your oil in too fast. You want to get that steady little stream. If you add it too fast, you're going to get uh, the vinaigrette breaking. So uh, that happens when you introduce too much fat in here at one time. So adding this slowly is going to make it nice and creamy. And the other part about this, I like it that it evenly distributes the flavor. So we're going to turn this down a little bit now. Add some salt and pepper in here for flavoring. And our vinaigrette's basically done. Here we have some uh, other smaller shrimp that we're just gonna chop up and add into the vinaigrette. Uh, we've uh, smoked it with a little bit of bourbon barrels that we get from our local, local distilleries. So we're gonna add the shrimp in here. So now to put it all together, we got our wonderful creamy crab risotto. Nice, generous helping in there. Oh, that's so good. It's making me hungry right now, just smelling it. Let me place our grouper cheeks and shrimp over the top. Just make a nice little mound, very plentiful. I gotta tell you, my mouth's water. <laughs> it really is water right now. And then we'll just drizzle some of the smoked chipotle vinaigrette on top. Again, it's gonna add a lot of different uh, flavor depth. 
Uh, here with the dish too, we like to do a little sauteed uh, baby bok choy. Vegetables that, little medley here. Do I have your permission to dig in? Oh yes, please. Right, I'm gonna start with this cheek right over here. Uh, you see how tender that was? Well, I gotta get a little, trying to get a little bit of everything in there. That's the whole thing, you know, it's all the flavors are, of... are meant to be eaten together. If you eat it separately, you don't quite get the whole experience. Did you miss out last night? Mm. I'm getting so much there. I'm getting just a little bit, just a little bit of spice, not anything overwhelming. No, it's not too hot. That fish is so fresh. And like you said, it has almost a different, almost, almost a crab-like quality. Wow, nice combo. Well, I enjoy share sharing, stuff. you know, that's what this what We do. enjoy learning from you. I have another fantastic place to eat. I can't wait till summertime to get out here and pull my boat up. Oh, it's gonna be great out there. And it's, have dinner. it's beautiful. You've got a fantastic thing going here. Don't stop. We'll be back. All Thank right. you, sir. Thank you.